Now, one of President Putin's closest advisers, the Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, has told the BBC that Russia has not invaded Ukraine, and he's repeated the official line from the Kremlin that there is no war, just what is called a special military operation. Mr Lavrov, who's been at the heart of power in Russia for over 20 years now, was heavily critical of the UK for its attitude towards President Putin and his policies. He told our Russia editor Steve Rosenberg that to classify relations between Russia and the UK as bad would be an understatement. Hello, thank you. How are you? It was the first time Sergei Lavrov had agreed to meet since Moscow launched its offensive in Ukraine. Russia's government has created a parallel reality. Invasion? What invasion? We didn't invade Ukraine. We declared a special military operation because we had absolutely no other way of explaining to the West that dragging Ukraine into NATO was a criminal act. Russia's special operation has resulted in thousands of civilian deaths in Ukraine. Moscow claims it's protecting Russian speakers and fighting Nazis. I quoted a UN report about a Ukrainian village where Russian soldiers had forced hundreds of people, including 74 children, to spend a month in a basement with no toilet, no water. Ten people had died. Is that fighting Nazis? I asked. Unfortunately, it's a great pity, but international diplomats, including the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, the UN Secretary General and other UN representatives, are being put under pressure by the West, and very often they're being used to amplify fake news spread by the West. So you're saying that Russia's squeaky clean? No, Russia is not squeaky clean. Russia is what it is. And we are not ashamed of showing who we are. And what of the two British men sentenced to death by a Russian proxy court in rebel-held eastern Ukraine? Aidan Aslin and Sean Pinner had been fighting for Ukraine. I tell Mr Lavrov that in the eyes of the West, Russia is responsible for their fate. I am not interested in the eyes of the West at all. I am only interested in international law. According to international law, mercenaries are not recognized as combatants. But they're not mercenaries. They served in the Ukrainian army. This should be decided by a court. You think the court's independent there? I'm convinced there are independent courts there. Do you think your courts are independent? And on UK-Russian relations, no expectation of an improvement. I don't think there's even any room for manoeuvre anymore because both Boris Johnson and Liz Truss say openly that we should defeat Russia, we should force Russia to its knees. Go on then, do it. Basically, what Sergei Lavrov is saying there to Britain and to the West is bring it on. Nearly four months after the invasion, the Russian authorities are defiant, they are determined and they are dismissive of their critics. But in that interview, I didn't get all the answers to all of my questions. For example, I asked Mr. Lavrov, would he say, would he confirm that there will be no more special military operations or Russian invasions of countries close by? He dodged that one. Steve, many thanks again uh, for that uh, powerful exchange with uh, Sergei Lavrov, Steve Rosenberg, our Russia editor.